Ethereum, the world's largest blockchain, has transitioned from the proof-of-work consensus to the proof-of-stake after over eight years of development. The upgrade is expected to reduce Ethereum's carbon footprint. The crypto community has eagerly anticipated this transition since Ethereum first announced its intentions. Proponents believe Ethereum's electricity footprint will fall from 8.5 gigawatts to about 85 megawatts. It is also expected to make validating transactions on Ethereum much more efficient. Before the merge upgrade, Ether's price was almost double what it was in June. In the first two weeks of September, it was at $1,700, an impressive performance compared to other crypto tokens. But to many people's surprise, Ether has dropped to $1,300, a 20% loss of value within a few days of the merge being completed. Bitcoin has also dropped 4.4% in the same period. Despite the downturn, many people believe it is only normal, and Ether will regain its value with time. One of the reasons is that the merge was designed with long-term goals in mind rather than a short-term fix for Ethereum's problems. It is the groundwork for future developments to make the blockchain easier and more efficient. The crypto market is currently having a bearish season, what experts call a crypto winter. Prices of crypto tokens are dropping, and despite its impressive performance in the last few months, Ether is no exception. The Federal Reserve's announcement that it will institute a series of aggressive interest rate hikes to tackle inflation has not helped. Those high interest rates affected not just traditional investments, but also crypto investments, because people are now less willing to take risks or invest in crypto assets. The anticipation of the merge led to mass buying of Ether in hopes that the upgrade would significantly increase the token's value in a short period. When this did not happen, investors might have decided to cut their losses and sell. Investors are also concerned about whether Ether's regulatory standing may change after U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler suggested that proof-of-stake tokens may be securities that fall under SEC's jurisdiction. If Gensler's remarks come true, then Ethereum will have to file extensive reports about its operations with the SEC. This would fundamentally change the framework of cryptocurrency being decentralized and beyond the control of a central regulating body. With all these new developments, there is some anxiety among investors and Ethereum users about what the future looks like for their crypto assets. But the merge upgrade is still a welcome development and proponents believe it will stabilize in the long run. So, will Ethereum's merge to a proof of stake blockchain make the network more efficient? Stay tuned to find out. Cheers.